Uh, today's episode, we have a very special guest, the mighty AU Falcon Work Ute. Um, I'll do a quick run through of the ute and then the tools in the back of it slash the setup. This ute, the backstory is we needed a work ute for the boys, they don't want to tow a trailer. It's got like half a million Ks on it, we paid like three grand, it's got a tub, a tonneau cover and some toolboxes. This rain's gonna fuck me. Um, tub, tonneau cover, some toolboxes. So far it just doesn't really stop. It's here because it needs power steering fluid or something like that, I don't know. Anyway, but you'll get to see how it's roughly set up. This is mostly a prefab car, um, so not much stick building out of this and you'll see that reflected in the very limited tools it carries. So, it has loads on the front seat, because why not? Um, there's the tub. So it's got a canvas that goes over the top. This is just all fixings. Standard power guns, framing nails, sledgehammers, cam set gun for rods, bullet head nails for windows, zero blades, some spare hardware. This is the nail bag that if we have a trial kid working for us, they'll use. Power board, obvious. Brooms, um, window flashing. This is the compressor setup that they run. Um, with prefab, you don't. All you really have to do is use a coil gun. Um, shooting offs, just punching in ply. So you don't need a huge belt fed compressor for that. Um, just the little ones do. Even if you are stick framing, if you're just starting out, I'd still go a little one of those. Um, some miscellaneous tools and shit scattered around the back. Again, it has a tarp over it, so it doesn't, getting wet's not a huge problem. Um, usually they'll take it off each day. Plate levels, I think I've touched on one of them in like my super early videos from like 18 months or so ago. Maybe a year. Um, they are pretty much a must have if you're gonna take your framing seriously. In my opinion, otherwise you're just pissing in the wind. Um, two step ladders, those are a three step. For 2.7 walls and three meter walls, you pretty much gotta have a three step. I know when I started out, we used to just run twos and bigger ladders, but these seem to hit a happy medium. And this box is where the miscellaneous tools at the end sit. So the boys mostly run Makita, bit of Milwaukee. We really like the key to rehandle saws. Um, the DeWalt's are probably more powerful, but they're not as nice to use. Um, the Milwaukee's were trash. I think, there's, I think we've thrown most of those out. But if you were starting out, this is pretty much all you need. The prefab like this, probably a ram set gun that you're not seeing in here, but even then you can hand drive, um, and then you've just got some fixing to steal. As framing's great because it's such a low barrier to entry as far as tools. Um, being good framers, a bit of a different story, um, but actually being able to frame, pretty low barrier. Um, if you're looking at a work setup, utes like this are great. It works for us because the boys that drive it have their own personal car still. Um, so they don't have to drive around with tools with them wherever they go. You go to shopping centres and shit like that. I know personally, I prefer to not have however many thousands worth of dollars of tools um, just sitting under a tornado cover in a car park. So they'll go home, garage this, jump in their own car that doesn't have tools in it and go. Again, that's the benefit of trailers. So I've mostly worked with trailers um, just because you can drop them off in your warehouse or shed or lock them up somewhere secure and then leave it and go and enjoy your life but yeah if you're looking to go out on your own don't get too caught up on the tools just fucking know your trade more than anything um spent like prefab especially because you don't need like there's no drop saw in here you don't even need a drop saw and bench um everything's pre-cut and you're just good to go um air setups you can convince yourself that you need to buy an expensive one you really don't um 
Like we'll upgrade to a Mac system soon enough, but like fuck, I've been doing this a fair while now and I've done it without a Mac system, so it can pretty comfortably be done. Um, other than that, just making sure you've got f uh, money to put fuel in the car and buy nails and drive yourself to work and you can make yourself a good income. That's kind of about it. Um, you can get really fancy with it, you can have layout stations and shit like that, but it doesn't really matter, it doesn't make you better, it just makes you a little bit faster. Um, certain purposes, they're great, but again, most of the time, you can work around it. Um, that's kind of about it, there's fucking not much to it. Quick side note, these blurry things are fucking sick. Um, cleaning slabs, drying off slabs, cleaning your car, fucking unreal. Um, I would suggest getting a bigger one rather than the one, like the little one that your kit comes with. Yeah. That's it.